effects are awesome. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen bringing you more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I decided to bless you all with a guided tour of the effects editor in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. This way you'll get a look at all of the tools that will be at your disposal if you purchase that version of the software. So let's jump off into the effects editor and show you some tools. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, and I'm about to give you a lesson in the effects editor, okay? But before I do that, I gotta remind you of a few quick things. Remember to like, comment, and share this video. When you do those three things, it lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. Like, comment, share. Smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button you get notifications every time i upload content to youtube and then you won't be missing out on any of this pinnacle studio love it i'm giving you to help you out with your videos and make you know that you do what you do when you do it so well smash the subscribe button first off this video applies to the ultimate version of pinnacle studio it does not apply to plus and it does not apply to the basic version if you have plus or the basic version there's going to be a lot of things that i talk about that you don't have on your version of the software there would be some add-ons that i have that you're not going to have because i bought it or i got it through different means or however i got it but i got it okay let's make this thing happen all right, in order to add an effect to a video clip in Pinnacle Studio, you need to go to the clip that you want to add the effect to and right click on that clip. And when you do that, you'll see a lot of different options here. As a matter of fact, you see some effects that you can add from right here, like rotation, um, scaling, speed, and audio ducking. But we want to focus on the effects editor. So I'm going to click on effects editor. And when I do, it opens this window. So on the top of this window, you have four different options and we're gonna focus on the effects option, okay? So under the effects option, the first thing we have is 2D, 3D. Now 2D, 3D has a lot of different effects that you can use to layer things and help you see things through your videos. Uh, it's just a great way to go ahead and add a lot of different looks so that you can see through the other tracks on your timeline. Uh, so if I hover over any of these, it gives me an idea of what that effect might look like in most cases. Now, sometimes it's not going to really tell me anything of what it's going to look like. But if I hover over 2D Editor Advanced, it's going to hover up in the corner there. But if I click on 2D Editor Advanced, I get parameters here and I also get presets. I can choose a preset. Like if I choose no preset, it's going to take it right back to how it looked before the preview. And then I have all these other presets, which will basically do a PIP window or face cam, as some people like to call it, and add the video to different parts of the screen. If I do no preset, I have full control over position, size, rotation, transparency, border, shadow, cropping, and corner curve. And if I want to be even more precise, I can activate keyframes. When I activate keyframes, then I can tell Pinnacle Studio when to start or stop a different uh, parameter that I choose, whether it's rotation or starting to look transparent. I can move things around. I can have more control over the effect by activating and using keyframes. I can also go ahead and save an effect if I want to. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, further down the road. And I can go ahead and delete an effect as well. And then I can turn the effect on or off. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now under camera, 
camera basically has effects that you would use. Uh, it just mimics some things that a camera could do, like a blur or um, I don't know, a lens flare, uh, things like that. So you see, you got several different effects in here that you can go ahead and apply. So if I were to apply something like um, radio blur, then once again, you see that I have some presets up here. And then I have some parameters that I can change and those settings or parameters are based on the effect that you choose. So you're not always going to have the same parameters or settings to change. Those are um, applicable to the effect that you choose. Let's go ahead and delete this one. And then if we go to color, you got all types of different color correction type effects, so brightness, auto color correct, image correction, CPU, uh, black and white, sepia, tint, all type of good things that you can use on here. Once again, hovering over them, you get an idea of what they're going to do. Then you got keyers. So keyers is where you find your tools for uh, chroma key or green screen, uh, luma key, and transparency. And you can even just use this to just change up things in your video, remove things, make things underneath transparent, whatever you want to do with them. Then you have artistic. Artistic is uh, basically just a bunch of different type of effects and blends and things like that that you can use. Um, so you got crack slab, uh, you got fractal fire, you got a hall of mirrors, there's all types of different things under here as well. And also on all of these, if you have additional effects off to the right, you'll see a little arrow here. You can click on that and you'll see more effects here. And then when you do that, there'll be an arrow on the left. You can click on that to take you back to the other effects. So next we have stereoscopic and stereoscopic is really for 3D. So if you have, you're making a 3D video, then you would go here to see if you could want to apply any of these effects. And then you have add-ons. So under add-ons, you're going to have the effects that come with Pinnacle Studio Ultimate. And you're also going to have any effects that you bought or added to it. There are a lot of things that I have on here that I bought and paid for and added to it. Or things that were bridged over from Pinnacle Studio 17 to Pinnacle Studio 18. And then Pinnacle Studio 18 got bridged over to Pinnacle Studio 19. So a lot of people know that what I'm referring to when I say that is Red Giant. If you have bought Pinnacle Studio 18 and you never had 17, then you're not going to have Red Giant on it. If you bought Pinnacle Studio 19 and you never had 18 or 17, same thing. You're not going to have Red Giant. It's just going to be the blue, the new blue effects that come with Pinnacle Studio 19 or the new blue effects that came with Pinnacle Studio 18. Now you can also see that I have some ProDev products that I bought, things like that. So you got all these add-ons available to you as well. And then last but not least, we have My Effects Compositions. So whenever you save an effect, and I was talking about saving an effect, saving a preset, then it saves it to the My Effects Compositions area. So if you have an effect that you use over and over and over again, Watch my video for saving effects as presets, and it'll show you how to do that. And this is where they'll be housed, so you can always go here and just drag that effect or select that effect or drag that effect onto your video to, based on wherever you're accessing the effect from. And once you apply all your effects and you're ready to go, you just click on OK. And then you're brought back in the Pinnacle Studio 19 to continue your editing journey. Enjoy yourself. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love, people. Comments. Leave me your comments, I'll give you my answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction and get you the help that you need. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button when you smash that button you get notifications every time i upload videos that way you stay in the know and you're up to date on all of the tutorials that i make for pinnacle studio software thanks for watching
see you again soon.